Pisces, I'm gonna do something I've never done in any of these readings before. This is gone, that's gone. This is the monthly reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces sun, moon, and rising signs. It's for July, 2020. July, July, July. Happy belated Canada Day to those of you that are in Canada. Happy early 4th of July to those of you that are in the U.S. All right. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. And any of the cards that I'm using today will be linked down below in the description box, as always. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All right. Let's see what we have, my lovelies. I hope you are doing fabulous. I hope you're doing beyond fabulous, actually. So we have the Death card, the Seven of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Three of Cups. Five of Cups, oh Pisces, no, no, no. Eight of Cups, no Pisces, no. All right, Knight of Wands, Seven of Coins, and the Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card, but this is a imbalanced Justice card. Oh, wow, okay. So Pisces, with regards to your reading, your overall energy is that of justice. You feeling like you've been treated unfairly in some, in some way, shape or form. Um, I'm, I'm a little surprised to see this Pisces because with the new moon energy from last month and the full moon energy that's coming up now, uh, you should be in a very good position, but it looks like on an emotional front, Pisces, you feel that you've been treated unfairly in some way. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. You may be feeling a little bit out of balance as a result of something that came to an end. With this Five of Cups. You're having trouble seeing the positivity. Let's get you some... Get you some oracle cards here. Pisces, please. Pisces. Rainbow blessing. See, you're having trouble seeing this. We're going to have to have a talk here, Pisces. Blessings are showering your life, but yet, despite the blessings, you are focused on something that you have lost hope in. All right, let's get you another Oracle card and then some clarifiers and we will move straight into your reading. Look at that, look at that. Our beautiful Empress card, the Goddess card. Honor your divine feminine. See your inner beauty, Pisces, whether you are a man or a woman. Love every part of you. Self-love. Let's move this goddess card up here. Let me actually, let me put it where you can really see it. Because I want you to remember that Pisces. Self-love, self-love, nurturing your soul, that sort of thing. Honoring the divine feminine within you. Be the empress, dear Pisces. Whether you are a man or a woman, does not matter. All right, Pisces, 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 Pisces. All right, right there, High Priestess flipped over. We will address that here in just a second. Spirit has a little bit of a, a message of tough love for you right now, Pisces, and we need to have a chat about it. If you don't feel you can emotionally handle this discussion I'm about to have with you, <laughs> I recommend you disconnect from the video and come back to it when you feel a little stronger because I'm about to get a little bit rough with my Piscinians in a, in a sweet and loving manner. Look at that, seven of cups. All right. All right, all right. Pisces, Pisces. I see in the past here 
that there was a situation where you feel that something ended, that something was lost, something that made you very happy, something that, that you had to let go of perhaps with this particular card, a person that you had to let go of because perhaps they weren't putting in the effort that you had hoped. There may have been a third party situation. Um, could have been a family situation here that you had to put an end to. And right here in the center, you feel like things are hopeless. You may have taken that, the Pisces version of the hermit, that Pisces alone time where we kind of get a little bit wrapped up in our thoughts, wrapped up in our emotions. Um, the planetary changes that we've recently, or movement that we've recently gone through could have caused you to feel a sense of intense loss of this situation. And we feel, it seems like you feel like you were not treated fairly. And it may have been a confusing situation for you. Or you may have felt like this person chose to treat you as an option. Especially with this particular card here with the Seven of Cups. This Seven of Cups is one of temptation. It looks like you're wanting an apology for whatever happened here. I'm getting the sense, Pisces, that you feel like you are second best to somebody with these eight cards. Because here's competition. And it looks like you feel like you are second best. And in fact, you may be stuck in this loop in your mind and in your heart of feeling like you are second best. You may have started to wonder, what is wrong with me? Nothing's wrong with you, Pisces. I told you I'm gonna get a little rough with you. There is nothing wrong with you, Pisces. Love every part of you. Honor your emotions, but don't wallow in the emotions. I do see you are gonna come out of this. So let me just note, you are gonna come out of this. But if you continue to hold on to this feeling that somebody has done you wrong, rather than seeking to use this divine feminine energy to forgive them and release it to forgive them and forgive yourself for allowing this this person to make you feel this way then everything straightens out but you have to come to that realization first so Pisces I feel like you are on the brink of a breakthrough you're on the brink of a breakthrough from this situation we have you being unbalanced in the past. We have you feeling like an option and we have you feeling as if love has been lost in your life. And now there's a focus on wanting an apology and feeling like everything is hopeless. Pisces, I'm gonna do something I've never done in any of these readings before. This is gone, that's gone. No more, no more Pisces, it's all gone. Cause you're on the brink of a breakthrough on the brink of a breakthrough. Blessings are getting ready to come into your life, Pisces. You are on the brink of a breakthrough. And I love this, I love to see this. You need to honor this divine feminine energy within you. Harness the energy of unconditional love that the Empress has. Because the Empress, which is what our goddess card is about, is also a symbol of a new cycle starting in your life, Pisces. A new cycle. Sorry, I need to move. Hold on, I'm very uncomfortable. All right, I am standing up and I am ready to go. <laughs> you need to remember that this Empress energy means that a new cycle is about to start in your life. Yes, there's a, there's a feeling of independence, a feeling of disconnection from whomever that person was. But you have a brand new beginning starting here. For some of you, this brand new beginning is with regards to your career. Finances coming in, a new career coming, a new job, uh, you know, landing in your lap here soon. You focusing on what is going to make you happy, what is going to make you feel stable. You taking some time to say... What am I willing to accept in my life? 
What am I not willing to accept in my life? How can I release the stress and strain and difficulties of the life that I'm living right now? And this is you choosing to move forward in life. Choosing to turn that old hermit energy you have into one in which you go to find that ninth cup. You go to find that happiness. And there's that ninth cup. The ninth cup to bring about that feeling feeling of accomplishing something wonderful. Let me see if I can get the nine of cups out in this deck. That ninth cup, Pisces. The ninth cup of wishes, dreams, hopes. You're going to go in search of what's going to make you happy. And in that lies strength, Pisces. Now here's our Queen of Swords energy, same Queen of Swords here. Yes, she's looking back at the past. She's looking back at the past and saying, all right, these are the changes that I'm being divinely guided to make in my life. This is what the truth of the circumstances were. This is the direction that you need to be moving in. Trusting your intuition on this forward movement recognizing that blessings are on their way. Blessings are on their way, Pisces. All right. Tell me about this Queen of Swords, please. Ace of Cups, Seven of Coins, Knight of Swords. Ace of Cups is new love coming into your life. It's this, it's what you're going in search of. It arrives. It's on the way. That one thing that's going to make you happy, that one thing that's going to make you feel like you're moving forward in your life. The thing that you've been waiting on. Knight of Swords is that information coming in about this new opportunity. This Ace of Cups does not have to be love. It can be anything. But it looks like it is love. Somebody's coming your way, Pisces. Somebody's coming your way. Pisces, I'm gonna leave it there because there's too much of a focus for you right now on something in the past that ended. So I, I, I feel like spirit does not want me to take this into an extended. I feel like it's it's not going to serve you well. But I do feel that Spirit is saying, Pisces, you need to recognize that blessings are coming your way. You need to recognize that all of this served a purpose to move you forward in your life. All of it served a purpose to make you stronger, to make you see where you need to place boundaries, to make you see the beauty within yourself to make you prepared for what's coming ahead. Let me find that card that Spirit just laid on my heart. Beloved. Pisces, it's time for you to prepare. If this is in love, it's time for you to prepare for your life partner. But you can't do that when you're focused on something that ended and something that you feel hopeless in. So, time to make some changes, Pisces. All right, my dears, you know I love you. Love and light to you. Have a good day. I'll see you again soon.